You fell off plus L plus ratio plus didn't ask plus the hood watches Markiplier now? Hello everybody! What does it mean to fall off? It means you once were popular and you're not anymore, right? It's essentially like calling someone irrelevant, but with the unique quality of requiring the recipient of such ridicule to have been relevant in the first place. After all, you can't fall off something you were never on. So you wouldn't tell an accountant they fell off. Hi, I'm gonna need your receipt so I can file your tax return. Again? <laughs> Mate, you fell off so hard. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Every year is the same thing. Oh, do you have your receipts? It's old, bruv. You're becoming irrelevant. No one rates you. Get your clout up. Ratio. Typically, the status of fallen off is reserved for celebrities, or at least people who at one point had some form of notability. For example, you can say an actor fell off when they used to be in all the biggest movies, TV shows, adverts, their name and face was inescapable, and then you never see or hear from them again. It's like they were wiped off the face of the planet, and the only way you're reminded they even exist is when they appear in the thumbnail of a Nicki Swift or a Looper video tearing their entire life apart. Why Hollywood won't cast Tobey Maguire anymore? Hollywood dumped Taylor Lautner, and it's no secret why. Stars Hollywood tried to make happen. <laughs> wow, the shade is palpable. Now falling off doesn't even necessarily have to correlate with popularity. Sometimes falling off just means losing prestige. Let's say you have a musician who was known for putting out hits, just non-stop bangers back to back. But then later down the line, they put out an album which is a, a certified flop. It's critically panned, the fans panned it, Panda Express won't even play it at their restaurants. I'm fucking dogs. It's not fucking music! No one liked it. And then they don't follow it up with anything better, so it's the last thing that people associate them with. Someone might just say that artist fell off, even though they could probably still sell out huge venues based on their old hits alone. In fact, you don't even have to put out garbage to fall off. You could have the most amazing body of work ever, but if you proceed to not put out anything new for years while young, fresh artists are popping up all over the place, people will still say, you fell off. And you know what? It, it gets even worse because you could still be putting out great work and still be doing it consistently and still fall off if the thing you're making isn't what's popular anymore. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells me that everybody falls off eventually because no matter how much energy you dedicate to it, one day you're gonna get too old or too tired or you're just gonna straight up not be bothered to keep doing the thing that's keeping you relevant anymore. The only way to never fall off is to die first and even then legends fade. Like who stays relevant forever? Jesus? You're trying to be like Jesus. And yet it seems every day we see examples of people trying to stay relevant by any means necessary. For some, it looks like every move they make is a desperate scramble for attention. And you don't even necessarily have to be falling off to behave like this. You just have to feel like not as many people are paying attention to you as you would like. Now, to a certain extent, it's understandable. You know, it's natural to not want to lose something once you've had it even if it is something as fickle as fame. If you're used to having a certain level of notability and prestige, then that can become part of your personality and losing it can feel like losing part of yourself. Remember the Bow Wow challenge? This dude posted a picture as though he was flying on a private jet and the image in the post wasn't even his. Everyone was clowning him and people started posting their own fake flexes under the hashtag Bow Wow Challenge. Honestly, it was pretty funny, but uh, imagine it from his perspective, right? So he started out as Lil Bow Wow. Dude was 13 years old with music videos on MTV. As far as he's concerned, he's always been famous. There was no come up. He was just up. Dude was six when he was discovered by Snoop Dogg in 1993. What does it even mean to be discovered at six years old? It sounds like you're getting abducted. And since then, he was known as that kid rapper. And then eventually that teen rapper. And then later that rapper. So it's no surprise that Bow Wow would want to keep up appearances, especially given his background in the ultra flashy early 2000s hip hop scene. He probably did fly private a few times when he was young. So while Bow Wow and I might be the same in that neither of us currently have private jet resources, where Bow Wow and I differ is that unlike Bow Wow, I don't have private jet expectations. If I post a picture of myself at the back of the line waiting for the gate to open in Terminal 5 of Heathrow Airport, 
Nobody's gonna tell me I fell off. And this is why gaining popularity, especially when you're young, can be a curse. You might spend the rest of your life chasing that high and feeling like a failure when you can't reach that level of relevancy again. Especially if that relevance is tied to your age. If something was only particularly impressive because you were young when you did it, what happens when you get older? No one wants to be a one-hit wonder, like those musicians who appear out of nowhere, drop one banger that's in the charts for months, and then dip forever. Of course, that's never actually the real story. Usually what happened is they were making songs for a long time, then one song randomly took off, and they were never quite able to recapture the audience. Either that, or they murdered their cousin? Question mark? But is being a one-hit wonder so bad when you consider that the vast majority of people are no-hit nobodies? <laughs> I mean, I get it. You don't want the entirety of your career to be overshadowed by this one thing you did. But at least you have that one thing. I mean, you could have had nothing. Plus, you can't really control what people know you for. I had to learn that the hard way. Some people know me as the Club Penguin guy or the Simpsons guy or the Neopets guy. I wanted to be known for everything I do, but that's just not how it works. At least I'm known for something I made rather than for some embarrassing moment caught on camera. Internet personalities like YouTubers are especially prone to falling off, considering how fleeting popularity on the internet is. But it's hard to accept because no one wants to feel like they've peaked, because once you hit your peak, it's all downhill from there. But considering how hard it is to get on in the first place, maybe falling off doesn't have to be seen as a personal failing, but as the natural end of an unpredictable process. Most people don't even get 15 minutes of fame. Don't start crying because you didn't get 30. I imagine a lot of it has to do with the desire for validation. You often hear about the idea of being remembered after you're gone, not just by friends and family, but by greater society. And the way to do that is by creating something that will outlast you and permeate through future generations. Essentially, wanting to be a legend. But isn't this desire for a legendary status just seeking validation from people who aren't alive yet? People who literally do not exist? Do you think people will be watching this video 300 years from now? If anyone in the year 2322 is watching this, no, you're not. Surely there are better things to be doing in the 24th century than watching this video. Like, I don't know, trying not to be burned alive by the sun. Yeah, sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> Our bad. L plus ratio plus you fell off plus YB better. It's all word format. I haven't even heard a YB song before. Maybe YB isn't better. The phrase you fell off is a meme. It's been overused to the point of losing all meaning and it's now just a generic Twitter response. But the sentiment behind it can still sting. No one wants to be told they're irrelevant or that they're not as good as they used to be. But as many cringe motivational pages will show you, the path to success doesn't look like this. It looks like this freaking piece of spaghetti with an arrowhead on the end. So yeah, you will fall off. And if you're lucky, you'll fall off multiple times because each time you fall off, book ends a period when you were the hot thing, when you were on. And hopefully you were on for something you're proud of. So if you ever see me on the thumbnail of a Looper or a Nicki Swift video talking about how Hollywood won't hire me anymore, just know, I made it. Oh,